Hello children, I welcome you all to my class. I am explaining the fifth lesson, how our body works. The human body is an amazing living machine. It has different parts that help us to move, think and feel. Our body is a, like a machine, isn't it? It has different parts that which help us to move, think and feel. The hard part of our body are the bones and the soft part of our body are the muscles. In our body, some of the parts are hard. Uh, that hard parts are called, um, that uh, in our body, hard parts also is there and the soft part also is there. That hard parts are called as bones and the soft part of our body is called as muscles. Our body has 206 bones. They are joined together at the uh, at the joints to form the framework of our body it is called as the it is called the skeleton skeleton gives shell uh, shape and support to our body how many bones are there there are 206 bones in our body they are joined together and uh, form a network um, called as skeleton skeleton which gives shape and support to our body because of the skeleton only we are getting the shape and support to our body there are over 600 muscles in our body they cover the bones and uh, help th help them to move bones and muscles are protected by the layer of skin how many muscles are there there are over 600 muscles are there in our body they cover the bones and help them to move bones and muscles are protected by the layer of skin because of the muscles only our uh, our bones uh, we can move our bones because of the muscles we can move our bones isn't it now let us learn about the internal organs and external organs some of the external organs are hands legs feet mouth and our sense organs sense organs which are the sense organs eyes ear tongue nose and skin are our external organs these organs help us to perform many functions like walking running pulling pushing and holding because of the external organs we can perform many functions like we can walk run pull the things push the things and hold the things and all okay next let us learn about the internal internal organs among the internal organs brain internal organs means the organs which are inside our body among the internal organs let us learn brain brain is inside the head inside our head there is a brain we use our brain for thinking it controls the working of our body parts so it is also called the controlling unit of our body our brain is located inside the head isn't it the we use the brain to think whatever we will think because of our brain brain wind controls all our body parts so the brain is called as controlling unit of our body it is the only organ which controls our body so it is called as controlling unit of our body next internal organ is heart where is it is where where is the heart is located heart is located heart is, heart is located inside the chest what is the function of the chest uh, heart it pumps blood to all parts of our body what is the function of heart it pumps blood